Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. That is the Hot Wheels 67 Pontiac Firebird 400. In fact, that is the debut of that casting. And that isn't the model I'm showcasing today. The model I'm showcasing is that one in the background. But in order to showcase this model, we need to start with that model. Does it make sense? Probably not. But we're going to do it Anyway, that model I'm talking about is the last new model of 2017. It debuts in the Hot Wheels Q case, coming very, very soon. It is the custom 67 Pontiac Firebird. It is raw. It doesn't have a hood. It is cooler than cool, and there is a neat story behind it. And in order to tell that story, we got to go back to this one again. All right. This is the Verdoro Green Pontiac Firebird. We saw it debut in that color. We saw it recolored that same year in 2009 in red. I love collecting the first edition muscle cars that Hot Wheels does because they usually do it in a stock or a stock-like deco. That's why you see that side stripe on the Firebird. We even got one more of those. That's why I like recoloring them because we get several versions of the stock deco. This one in blue. I even love as this one's whipping around, you see the silver trim or the chrome trim they put right on the front grill. Very, very cool casting. There's been several releases since, both in the basic line and in premium lines. This is one I really like. A breast cancer awareness um, exclusive done for Walmart in 2010 in pink. One I really, really like. And just recently, just to give you just some random releases... This one that we focused on yesterday in the showcase, the Target Red Edition Firebird in white with red trim. Very, very cool, especially with those new steely wheels. But let's get back to that Verdoro Green. Why do I know it's called the Verdoro Green? I'm not a Pontiac expert, but I have been talking to one. And that Pontiac expert is Brendan Vitusky. And he is the one who designed this car in more ways than one. He is a Hot Wheels designer. He has designed several cars that you're familiar with, probably most famously the 55 Bel Air Gasser, a model that gets people nutso every time it's released. I'm one of those people. And he's also responsible for this one. I said he designed this one for Hot Wheels. He also designed it in real life. I said it's a custom 67 Pontiac. It is a replica of an actual custom 67 Pontiac Firebird designed and built in the garage of, you guessed it, Brendan Vitusky. So we are getting an exact repl replica of his car. And in order to do that, go back to this one again. Brendan customized that car. We'll get into the details in just a second. He had to buy a car to do it. And he bought a Pontiac, a 67 Pontiac Firebird in Verdoro Green and converted it to that. So we start with this model that Brendan designed. Over the years, he bought his own. He customized it into his own car. I think he calls it the BV Bird. And that car in Hot Wheels Land has turned from this color into this. So... Hot Wheels life, replicating real life, and now we have the cool 67 Pontiac Custom Firebird. All right, what are the differences? Well, in order to show them, let's start with this. I'm going to move this out of the way. Go back to our favorite Verdoro Green. We'll put the uh, new Custom on top of it. Now you start looking. Obviously, there's no hood, right? We start with that. There's no spoiler on the back. Look at the side intakes. Brendan's real car has larger side intakes to uh, cool the brakes in the back. The uh, car below has the stock intakes. It's going to be very hard to see inside, but if you look real closely, maybe get up to that big screen if you're watching on the big screen, or really look into it on your phone, there are racing seats in the Custom Firebird stock seats in the... Uh, Stock Firebird. You can even look at the details on the bottom. There is a chin, a chin spoiler on the front of the custom Firebird, obviously not on the front of the uh, stock Firebird. It even goes to, if 
fuel intakes and suspension and differentials and all that stuff on the custom. Different than that on the stock. We'll get into some of those more details on lambdagroup.com. I have taken a ton of photos of it. But there you go. You look at a Zamac raw unpainted Firebird with a blank black roundel on the door and you say, that's really cool looking. I love the guy that thought that up. Well, that is that person is Brendan and this car is actually his. I'm going to try and filter some pictures in, into this video, but there are some pictures of the build on lamleygroup.com, so you definitely want to check that out. This model is cool. It is all in the details. Brendan is a stickler for those, and you can only appreciate it, including look at this engine. Huh, look at the detail on that engine. You can only appreciate it in person, and you will get a chance to buy this car soon. You might say, it's a Zamek. Does that mean it's a Walmart exclusive? No, that's how this car looks. It is going It is going to be a worldwide release, so never fret. By the way, look at the honeycomb grill there. I don't know if you can see that. I told you he's a stickler for detail. He put a honeycomb grill on his actual car, so it's going to sit on this car as well. I don't know how many more details I can give you on this other than the fact that this is one cool casting, a really nice way to end 2017, and it looks great compared to its stock counterpart. Like both of these, designed by Brendan, total, total winner. All right, guys, that's your showcase. When you only have one model to showcase, you do what's best in terms of background. Very cool to see this car turn into that one, which is real life replicated by Hot Wheels. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed the showcase. Brendan, thanks for all the detail. We'll talk to you later. Bye.